Hello and welcome to my Yu-Gi-Oh! channel. Today we're looking at some new cards which are being released within the Yu-Gi-Oh! Rush Jewels. These are supposed to be the remaining cards within a particular set and they're supposed to support the Dark Matter archetype. Hyperdrive Orbstar is a level 3 might actually be a machine type effect monster with 800 attack and 700 defense. The requirement is if there is a mo machine monster in your graveyard, reveal one a level 7 or 8 dragon monster in your hand to your opponent. The effect, excavate the top 3 cards of deck and reveal them. You can choose one monster among those cards with the same level as the level of the monster revealed for this effect's requirement, and special summon it to your field face up. Place the remaining cards on the bottom of your deck in any order. The requirement on this card needs you to have a machine monster in your graveyard, and you also need to reveal a, a specific either a level 7 or a level 8 dragon monster in your hand to your opponent, so that's quite a condition to meet. They do work quite well within the archetype given that this card itself is a machine type. The effect, just by looking at the top three cards, you have to choose a monster among those with the same level as the revealed monster. Therefore, if you've revealed a level 7, it has to be a level 7, and if it's a level 8, it has to be a level 8. It doesn't say that the monsters that are chosen by this effect then have to be of a specific typing, so other than the initial requirement, it doesn't restrict you further down as to being specifically a machine or a dragon type. You just get to match the level, and if you do, you get to special summon. The other cards do go to the bottom of the deck, but bear in mind you will be able to recover those cards when the deck gets shuffled. Hyperdrive Barrier Tail is a level 7 Earth Attribute Machine type effect monster. It has 2400 attack and 1600 effects. If there is a face-up Hyperdrive screwdriver on your field, you can normally summon this card without a tribute. It has no requirement and it has a continuous effect. This card's attack pierce. If you control a face-up dragon monster, face-up dragon and machine monsters on your field cannot be destroyed by your opponent's effects. The summoning on this card is, well, for a level 7, fine. It normally requires two tributes, but if you have a hybrid drive screwdrive on your field, you can normally summon this card without using any tributes. So it is kind of like one of those free versions of summons. Typically, when these types of cards come out, they'll have an effect where when they're summoned, they have to have their attack and defense points halved. This is an exception, but it still has a bit of a requirement. Its normal requirement isn't anything because its continuous effect just applies whenever it's on the field. The fact it can do piercing battle damage isn't too bad, given that rush jewels tend to be quite slow and most of the basic monsters are just that. They're very basic, easy to get over, very minimal effects. But you do get a bonus if you also happen to have a dragon type monster face up on your field that your other dragon and machine monsters cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. So that's a good way of protecting your field. Stumbling Rock is a normal trap card. The requirement is when your opponent normal summons a monster and there are two or more monsters on your opponent's field. The effect is to choose up to three attack position monsters on your opponent's field and change them to face up defense position. Also, during this turn, while the chosen monsters are face up, your opponent cannot tribute but summon by tributing the chosen monsters. This is a good store strategy for you because provided your opponent already has two monsters on their field, this card can be used. But it has to be used when your opponent normal summons a monster, therefore you can either use it when pretty much your opponent's field has to be full of monsters to activate this effect. The effect just lets you flip those monsters to face up defense position, and therefore it's almost like a negate attack, it prevents them from attacking for the rest of the turn, and it prevents your opponent from attributing over those cards. Bear in mind that with Rush Jewels, you are allowed to summon multiple times in a turn, and it stops them from outing this card in that method. It says here that Rock sounds like Lock, so it's I think it's a lot to do with how the Japanese speak, Sometimes certain letters sound similar to them. Also, this card's name has been changed from the anime, so that's also a distinction to it. Death Tackle the Strange Star Parasite is a level 4 dark attribute galaxy type effect monster. It has 1000 attack and 1300 defense. The requirement is during the turn this card is normal summoned, and the effect send the top 3 cards of your deck to the graveyard. Also, if your opponent has not taken effect damage this turn, you can then inflict some damage to your opponent. The requirement just happens to be when this card is normal summoned is pretty easy to do. It doesn't have any tribute costs to it. The effect just sending three cards from the tech top of the deck to the graveyard. Bear in mind, those cards will hopefully have their own effects that can activate in the graveyard. So long as your opponent hasn't taken any effect damage previously in the turn, you can instantly just do 700 points of damage. It's a good little effect. 
It says here as the note, it sounds like parasite for Kisatai, but it reads as st strange star life form. And death star and tentacle, most likely at least death tentacle is the naming concept. These cards are okay in my opinion. I think they can do something for the game, especially the trap card, but it is locked into having three of your opponent's monsters already on the field. The hybrid drive barrier tail also allows you to summon a monster without really too much cost to it, but it's still not worth running unless you're building a specific deck on that archetype. I'd love to know what you guys think of these cards in the comments section down below. Make sure to like the video, it really helps support the channel, and it'd be great if you could consider subscribing.